It is a beautiful morning here in New Haven, Connecticut. It looks like a day, hopefully with no rain. Right now, apparently my hotel has a free breakfast while I already plan to go out for breakfast. I'm still gonna take advantage of this free offer. All right, just got back from the lobby. Got a small breakfast here. Got coffee, a little muffin, uh, some apple juice, some yogurt, and an orange. Uh, this should be a nice little bite to start the day. Just checked out of my hotel. While it wasn't the Ritz, it served me well this past day. I had a nice day there. We'll see what sort of adventures I'll be able to get into today. Heading towards downtown New Haven now. I made it to downtown New Haven. I'm gonna try to explore the campus of Yale a bit, but there's also a couple other places around here that I wanna check out, including one of the oldest cemeteries in the country. But I'm just gonna wander about as well and see where the day takes me. clear my allegiance goes to my own two colleges but Yale's mascot handsome Dan a bulldog that is so damn adorable and so far my explorations of Yale campus really nice this is gorgeous I mean it's hard not to compare it to Harry Potter but yeah I just did that I do really miss college but I'm an adult I can do what I want life's not bad This is such a beautiful campus, such a great area for a walk. Obviously, there's not a lot of students here because it's summer, but wow, this would be a great place to go to school. I'm at the Grove Street Cemetery now, just walking through. It's one of the oldest cemeteries in the nation. I believe 1796 was when it started. There are some notable burials here, including the inventor Eli Whitney and Charles Goodyear. You know, the blimp guy. Just had a very peaceful walk through the cemetery. I did manage to find Eli Whitney's grave. He is, of course, the inventor of the cotton gin and a key player in the Industrial Revolution. It's 12 o'clock, so that means it's time for lunch. I'm heading to a place called Louis's Lunch. They supposedly are the inventors of the hamburger. I love burgers. New Haven is a lot more than just pizza. I can't wait to check this place out. All right, so I got takeout from Louis' lunch. Way too crowded in there, very small place, but I got a cheeseburger with everything on it. All right, so this is it, world's first burger. Uh, it's actually quite small. It's uh, on toast here instead of buns. I got it with everything on it, uh, tomatoes and onions, cheese as well. Really juicy, let's see how this is. That's pretty good. World's first burger here. Yeah, I like it. Good stuff. So the patty's pretty thick. It's got kind of a crumbly texture, but it's still pretty good flavor-wise. And I kind of like the toast too. This is a different burger, but still a good burger. All right, so that burger was pretty solid. Although if I was going back, I'd order two because it was pretty small. But no worries because I got some pie for dessert. I got blueberry pie, it looks so good. It's homemade, made with love. I couldn't resist. Mm. 
Mm. That was really good. Great pie crust, good blueberries, right amount of sweetness. Yeah, it is delicious. This would go so well with ice cream and coffee. I'll get coffee next. So that was a pretty decent burger. Now I've obviously had better burgers in my life, but going to Louis' lunch is like a pilgrimage. Burgers are one of my favorite foods, and to be there where the very first burger was probably made, that's pretty special. And that blueberry pie, oh my goodness was that fantastic. That was legitimately one of the best pies I had all year. That was seriously, seriously good. Plus one of the great things about Louis Lunch, my whole order was like $11 something. Super cheap, super affordable, great place, great lunch. Yeah, now I need coffee. So one of the things I really want to do in New Haven is visit the Yale University Art Museum. It's one of the best college art museums. There are tons of amazing works from some of the best artists and it looks really, really good and it's free. Unfortunately, it's only open on weekends as of right now, but um, it gives me a reason to come back. Plus there's so many other pizza restaurants I have to try here. I mean, at least I'll have something to do while the food's settling in my stomach. So I'm not going to any specific coffee shop, rather I'm just kind of wandering around trying to find a coffee shop in the area. And in the meantime, I'm enjoying what I'm stumbling on. I really just love this campus here at Yale. This is just beautiful. Plus, I'm not too concerned about finding coffee because that's one of the good things about a college town. There's plenty of coffee places, plenty of cheap food options. So yeah, I'm sure I'll find something soon. And in the meantime, certainly enjoying my surroundings. Alright, here at uh, Yale campus again. I just picked up some coffee from uh, Blue State Coffee. Pretty good. Alright, so while I'm enjoying my coffee, I'm going to do a little reading. Book of the day is Ready Player Two, the sequel to Ready Player One. That book was a lot of fun. This book seems to be just as fun. I just started it though, but so far, so good. So it was a really nice, relaxing coffee break. Just being at the campus there, the atmosphere, really nice, peaceful, quiet. And the weather out today is really, really just ideal. I mean, there's hardly any wind. It's like the perfect temperature, like 70 something degrees. It's a very pleasant day. Now I've got about two hours before my train leaves to New York City. So during that time, I'm gonna go to one of the other bucket list pizza places here in New Haven, Sally's Abitz. I am so excited about this. In the meantime, I'm just gonna head towards the restaurant, uh, see what I see along the way, and just make the most of the day. I really hate these buttons to press when you wanna cross the street. Every time I touch them, I have to sanitize my hands. Hate it. Sally's. Now, with the pandemic, the setup's a little different. There is no indoor dining. Instead, there's this big outdoor tent that can accommodate a lot of a lot of customers, which is nice. You can tell you're in New Haven when fresh clams are one of the pizza toppings. Just ordered. You have to go up front there. I got a small mozzarella and tomato sauce pie with sausage. I wanted something a little more traditional this time. While I was at Frank Pepe's, I was able to order two small pies, which I can still probably eat today if I wanted to though, but it is five after four. This is very early for my dinner, but my train is leaving at 545. I gotta make do. It's either eat early or not eat at all. Now Sally's, just like Frank Pepe's, is a very old, old school New Haven institution. Well, Frank Pepe was certainly the first. This one came a little later in 1938. I feel super fortunate to be able to eat at two incredible pizza establishments two days in a row. Yeah, I'm pretty lucky. Pizza has arrived and it looks beautiful. It's in an oval shape. The sausage looks really nice. Uh, different kind than I'm used to though, but looks really good. Good looking slice here. 
Moment of truth. That is really good. I knew it was gonna be good, so it's not a surprise. Yeah, I really like this. Really big pieces of sausage, so much flavor in them. <laughs> Delicious crust, really nice texture. It's still got some good flop to it though, but it really works. Sauce-wise, it's pretty subtle. It doesn't overpower any of the other ingredients, but it perfectly balances well with everything. Solid bottom, kind of holds everything together well. The one at Frank Pepe had a bit more color, but this works quite nicely as well. Absolutely delicious. Sally's doesn't disappoint. That was amazing. Wow, Sally's at Beats lives up to the hype. I think that's a perfect ending to my New Haven adventure. It is now time to head back to the train station and return to New York City. This trip to New Haven was wonderful. Such a great break from my life in NYC and the pizza I had, some of the best I've ever had in my life. This was so amazing coming here. It's a great adventure. Saw a lot of great sights, and there's definitely more I'll be doing in New Haven. I can't wait to return.